But why is Fun Well if you're being and if you roll back is bad? Even so, we're talking the distance. Isn't like Seiji on the eastern side of the Europe? Like on the deeper side? Yeah, I would assume so. Eastern Southern right now. If I if my flag recognition skills are good. It's mm -hmm. east of Turkey. Yeah, Armenia. Okay. Armenia. Yeah. All right, let's see. Wait, that's far, pretty far. Yeah, that's quite. That's very far. <gasps> we're all, we're almost in the, in the Asia levels here now. Yep. It's close. Oh, back into the corner with you. So let's just throw bait with the ultimate teleport. Mm -hmm. All right, so mid time. Yeah. So they're they're playing a hundred thirty millisecond like ping game here with. Across the Europe, to be honest, so I... Deno shouldn't blame him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's just let's get that out of the way. They're already gaming here and we're on our first match exactly. here with Zeno first versus Seiji. So, let's talk with Silvius. Yeah. Because I feel... Usually I like to say that Fairy is one of those characters! Oh my god, that was a sick... <laughs> hit grab. So Seiji is one of not Seiji. Fairy is one of the characters that usually dictate the momentum of mm -hmm. the game, mostly of, of how her zoning works. Oh my god, nothing working out at all on defense here. Because Zeno is just working hard yeah, right now. <laughs> um, oh my god. but oh. now I feel with how Lucilius works, he's the one that kind of dictates the momentum. Tries to go. <laughs> oh, the did not work out. Oh, he baited the DP because the DP became something else entirely. Oh. That is unfortunate. So, one thing that Lucilius, why I feel he dictates the momentum of the match, is not because of his sword levels. Uh, it's not that. He does get faster over uh, in terms of the round time, but I feel that fairy zoning tools suffer hard against Lucilius. Yes, uh, the teleport is very obnoxious for it. You basically have to be baiting it out. Uh, uh, and there's not much other, of another choice to it. So a lot of neutral, whenever it's not on cooldown, you have to consider the fact that they can just send that option at any time. But I don't feel that this, there's a bit more to it. Uh, the teleport is only extremely obnoxious if it's played very, very reactively. Mm -hmm. And there are not a few... Not a lot of things that you can safely react to against Fairy unless Fairy specifically does the same things. Yeah, true. So, like for instance, the M Whip or R H. Oh, this is it's possible if I remember right. Yep. Oh, and this should be the round. Mm -hmm. Also, have to remind her that the ultimate skills that Lucilius has, like the hit yeah. grab, the ultimate teleport, or hell Iblis is on top of it. Also, his fireball beats out your fireball because it's a multi-hit one. Uh, things like that are kind of annoying. There he has a fireball. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, the L-Whip, right? The 236. Yeah, but that's not a fireball. It's... I mean, it cancels out fireballs, right? Zano on massive momentum here, 2-0. Yeah. Mostly just catching Seiji in pressure situations because Seiji <laughs> cannot really play the zoning game as I as we mentioned with the tools that the Lucilius has. Here with the teleport that is negative on block. Tries to to bait the probe successfully. But really the, the very very unconventional pro bait option is not on the strongest side. It is mm -hmm. safe though. It is safe, yeah. If you space it correctly, you do get a combo, but uh, you still have to space it correctly for that as well. And this should be dead, right? Oh, no, 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 combo no. Limit. It just, he got, he got hard knocked down from the Raging Strike Raging Chain. Yeah. Oh my god, this swing. This bonk in neutral. <sighs> but yeah, other than that, I do feel that the situation... Ooh! Big no. flip here. With Almost a nice conversion, but he didn't have enough meter for the Raging Strike Raging Train. Oh unfortunately. my god. Far H and tears as well. But oh. really, Zeno is just throwing a lot of things in regards of just trying to... 
Oh, too early on the brave counter, and it's gonna be kill. Yes. Yep, that's oh gonna kill. God. It was not even too early. It was even too far away. Oh yeah, exactly. But yeah, this is starting to look. Uh, I mean, it's kind of looking very one-sided now. <laughs> Too early on the spot dodge. God, this is looking very bad for Xeiji. Mm -hmm. That is minus four. Does he really have an eight frame ultimate? Hmm. I'm not sure actually. Because <laughs> you can actually punish the Phosphorus uh, regardless of the follow up you have if you have an eight frame. Right? Ah. Oh. No, wait, it's the. the, the... Yeah. Whoosh! Alright, some pressure. Are we gonna see a comeback here? Man, at this point, I, if I were Seiji, uh, I would look out for the cancels. You have the ultimate DP. Like, Lucilius can't. He doesn't have a cancel that is safe. Like, it, does, it is a true yeah, exactly. Spring. Yeah, the exactly. you could be only to teleport. If he went to teleport from that close by as a cancel, that would be mm -hmm. like a call out to the, the, the people. But there he could have just secured the, the round with Luther. Yep, exactly. Something people don't don't consider a bit mm -hmm. much. Yeah, as a matter of fact, like I'm pretty sure Lucilius does not get a single actual block string, so gambling with a DP there does work. Whoop. That jump looks kind of funky. He mashed that guard button there. <laughs> Fuck. That was uh, definitely an interesting way. Oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. Oh, so brave kind of back into the corner and then the round. the 6 XL there. And get counter hit. Trying to spot dodge 6 XL. Huh. Unfortunate. <laughs> Another thing that the, the people don't consider that Lucilius 2M is oh. pretty high crush value. Mm -hmm. He's trying to catch the 2M there with that with it, and it's pretty quick on to boot. Ultimate DP. DP. So, trying to get I, out of the corner. I like that. Yep. Plus on block. Teleport. Oh boy. We're this gonna is go gonna be combo. a lot of them. Oh my god, that's almost it. Yep, almost dead. Just need. Oh, I'll just teleport in, I guess. What did he just? Oh, that was a hit. Oh, he just caught the walk forward. Mm -hmm. Or oh. Yeah, this mm. is looking very one-sided. Although Shaiji is uh, shaping up, he's uh, doing a bit better in these rounds, but uh, still not quite enough yet. You didn't get to play the fairy game. That exactly. Much. I feel like that's the, the the name of this set so far. Is he just doesn't get to play the fairy game at all? Ah. Uh. Like mm. either it's because Zeno is sh shutting it down completely, or maybe it's just very difficult to do against Lucilius. Uh, yeah. I feel like the Lucilius players I've played against have not shut me down that well yet, but. Curious I mean, this is right. not looking bad, right? No, that. <gasps> definitely. Oh shit, I haven't seen this in a while. Goes for the low here. Yeah, and We're this seeing should some be teleport done. shenanigans. I'm gonna go with the low again. And now just the one, one hit. The option is enough. Okay, I was, I would went for the lower head here. Oh, in between. That was right. Do you know the lower head? The lower head, no. I've, oh, you mean just uh, instant jump? Uh, yeah, it's line, the right? instant jump T T like T K jump L just yeah, on yeah. the on the round ends. No, exactly. Round the setup. He really likes to go for that just to end it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting option. It is risky, but you know people tend to not stand guard, so it, uh, it would work. What are pixel of health? Like, what are you oh, gonna, gonna do? You're gonna be playing. He's just gonna stand up, I guess. <laughs> okay. Alright. I like that. Seeing some more set play. Does it work to use it twice like that? 
Yeah, well, yeah, you're probably just gonna get the full damage, but I guess. Oh my god! Work. I feel like Seiji found the answer to this matchup, and that's just. <laughs> I just do the setups. Over three and over and over touches again. touches in! Just did three good touches in with the set play there. Yeah. Just to get 2 1 for you. Nobody blocks it, zero risk. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Brain cancel. This is looking very, very dire for Saiji yep. once again. Oh, oh, and that should be it. Man, can't even enforce these soft GG set setups. Mm -hmm. Also, there's one more thing the, that... Uh, how is LDP for fairy against the teleport options? Uh, very good, actually. Uh, I feel like it's beaten out every single option whenever I try to use it. Just react to him disappearing and it should work. Uh, yeah, the, the same as for Anilla's LDP. Yeah. I, I suppose Sergi is not ready for it yet, or maybe that's the connection showing up as well. It might be... Yeah. I don't it's know. Okay, so it's a bit difficult. Free for rollback frames on is not bad to play the game yet. No, agreed, agreed. I, in my, like, my rule of thumb is that if the rollback frames are fat, like, there's more rollback frames than the fastest button in the game, or the fastest option that you can do in the game, so then four. it becomes really, pretty, really ter terrible. Yeah, For okay. instance, four, because yes. throw. Yes. Fair enough. There's only one small issue with high rollback frames in this game, and it just how the rollback works. It sends the sound on before the rollback. Yeah! Oh, I, that annoys me so much. Ooh. Uh, now he's on zero BP. Like this is a big damage problem. I mean, it's just one touch away to kill. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Seto just sends it again! I feel like that's the story of this matchup, so Seto just sending it. Oh, no, this should be it! Yeah, it is. Oh my Shadow, god. Shadow, securing 6th game now. If they fix the rollback sound, Chinance, mm -hmm. it would be it would be so, so good. Then, then I wouldn't mind playing 4 rollbacks. Because usually, like, the hit confirming on sound becomes unfeasible. Yeah. I also noticed a bug, if, it, if there's too much rollback, you hear, like, and one of the characters gets their super, right? They get 100% uh, meter. You have an audio cue for that. When I fight against someone and they're on, like, six frames of rollback, I hear that audio cue five times in a row or something. Ooh. It's absolutely awful. Ooh, very good. Very good. Very, good. Very, very strong. Oh my god. Spot dodge. Unfortunately, didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, definitely. So one thing that I've never noticed that Zeno, a lot of those two <gasps> one for you's been working out so so well. Yeah. Oh, catching the two, and they're walking back probably, or punishing something. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like is doing really well whenever he just decides to go in instead of trying to play the zoning game. The zoning game is not really doing much of anything for him here, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, Bliss. Could have been a combo there, did not decide to, to go for it. And there. did not believe. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't ready for it. Oh! Good far H anti air. And this should be the round? It's just looking like a round, yeah. Yep. Oh boy. It's not looking like a one-sided stomp right now, and Zeno's been doing a lot of damage on Seiji here. Mm -hmm. And now Seiji oh. is currently the top one there in Europe. Yep. This matchup might suck. Maybe. It might also be a bit early, uh, and people not having adapted to Lucilius quite yet. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it, it, it does look like one of those matchups that you need to consider, like, stop playing the regular fairy play. Yeah, yeah, play. yeah, 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 exactly. Agreed, I've, uh, very much... Oh. Oh, try oh, the block okay. button check. Yeah. Why does it be... Why is it the combo it's, it's so much death that she's dead. 
Mondo Visionary. Uh, I am sad. <laughs> Why is this a plus on block combo starter that's I'm, a pro bait and invincible on top I'm of that? I'm pretty sure that everything that this character does is a combo starter. Except maybe the hit grab. <laughs> yeah, the hit grab is an ender. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> plus frame, plus frame. Yeah, xagey has been playing way more aggressively. Yeah. Oh. Here we go, the hard knockdown gets the side switch. Of course, he gets the side switch from that as well. Saiji is uh, living the fuzzy dream, he's just doing sexy self. <laughs> Goes for the load this time, and now we're gonna have an Super. SBA on yes. top of it. I don't know if this is gonna kill though. It, uh, it should, it should, it should. Yeah, there Barry does go. not suck that much. Very nice combo. Yep, 7 0. Oh. Still, you know, this is gonna be a monumental because you need mm -hmm. another 13 rounds like that to even it up. Yeah, definitely. However, uh, if anyone can do it, uh, it's Seiji. Seiji can do it, but still, remember, he's playing in Zen. Oh, that was a punishable drill. Yeah, yep. Holy space drill, unfortunately, is not forgiven. Minus four. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Ca caught the, the early far H and tears. Exactly. I've been doing that a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh huh? no! This is gonna be a lot of damage. Man, this DP is. Uh, I mean, it's a Fine. DP. I oh, got the damage. Oh, spot dodging uh, on the H lucky. in Blitz. It's a combo star as well. Yeah, the spot dodging on the projectiles is very difficult to do. It only really works, I think, on the L version, the long range one, and otherwise it just it's never gonna work out. Right, more pressure. Yeah, so as you said, Seiji's been playing a lot more aggressively now. Yep. Is he oh, he tries to spot dodge, but that one is. I mean, I think you can spot dodge it sometimes, but it's really weird and it's probably just better not to. I like the idea from Seiji there, but that DP just reaches so far away. Even though that Seiji jumped away to do the jump L. Mm -hmm. Hey, is blocking there, gonna go for the low, brave counters away. Seiji still has two more hits and probably he's be gonna be playing on oh, them brave no, counters. He's not doing that forward. right now. Yep. Why is he's not, he's not using it at all? What is his plan? Seiji! He doesn't have a plan, or does he? I mean, I'm sure he does, but... Oh, that was not the Seiji! right time to be using no! a Brave Counter. Like, it, Brave Counter is broken! But he exactly. had so many times to create there stations so for There were so many situations. Even like the the, the 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 H teleport, the jumping teleport, right? If you block that one, you can just uh, Brave Counter for free. It's like, it's literally for free. Like, he cannot stop you from doing the Brave Counter the moment it connects. I know that Zeno does bait the Brave Counters in some ways. Like, he, mm -hmm. but those are hard reads. He has been hard reading the whole sequence there. He exactly. wasn't hearing it. At some point, you have to start using them, uh, especially if you can score. A, like, he would would have been on chip point. That would have been a very dire situation to be in against Fairy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, why did he just decide against doing anything? Let's <laughs> right, see. Oh, oh boy. Oh, the ultimate teleport there plus frames. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Good nice, very good nice. reaction. Don't know if that was the worst way to, to go. Oh, yeah. lucky. That is not gonna work out. Yeah, El El Iblis. Say that wasn't even the ultimate one. Say no. was probably reacting to a Twitch with the DP there. Yep. Uh, gonna go with the low this time. Pro game. Could have been a bombo, but yep. we're too far away to get, get something out there. Uh, gets grabs for the forward dash again. Uh, BA, kill that one DP the there. LGG is there, yes. gonna get with the high. There that's a go. cheeky, cheeky 50 50 setup there. Yes, however, he didn't have 25% to actually do the RSRC, unfortunately. 
And this is gonna be a big wall combo. No, it isn't big drop. Oh no. And now no brave co uh, points left. Oh, this should be. Oh, no, it's not. Whoa, looking very rough what here. What are you damage, gonna no brave... do? How are you gonna deal with this? Oh, oh, oh he win. pressed a button at the exact moment that he did that. That is so unfortunate. But Seiji's still in there. Oh boy. Alright, plus fine for the teleport. Seiji is looking really good in a lot of these situations, but it's not been enough to even it up yet. Or even it up, or even just like win a game. <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, too no. early! Too early! Even, I guess even the ultimate DP didn't really help out at that point because it slowed down the teleport startup yeah, as well. Exactly. If he went for the LDP, it would have hit! Mm -hmm. No, in, in this case, you, 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 you also had to probably delay the LDP a bit, however... Oh, hold up. First match this, from Seiji! Yes, exactly. First match from F Seiji, finally finding his footing a bit. I, I do just want to quickly like interrupt one second, just kind of linger on that that exchange, um, just because I feel there's still a couple of point people that might not understand kind of how that slowdown sort of works. Uh, but the slowdown there wouldn't actually affect like any of the star frames involved in that move. Um, it's still it the same. So LDP would have been faster than UDP there uh, for moves. Uh, to, to talk particularly about uh, Ultimate Tessera. Like for buttons like that, it's uh, you're better off just pressing a a very active button into it so you can catch the teleport as it mm -hmm. appears, but before the active frames begin. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. But I was wondering if what, what the ultimate DP slowdown could have affected how long the tesser was not active because you're still no. invincible during it. No, it it doesn't affect that. It only affects that in the fact that. Um, in real time, both players are slowed down the same amount. The interaction is fundamentally the same. I see. Fundamentally the same. Ah, okay. Thank you for the correction. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. Wait, what? Did you mean one for the ultimate the teleport there to bait the frog? Yeah. I saw. This is once again looking in Zeno's favor. However, Did he just use the teleport just to avoid the jump in. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> setup time, jump. No. no. You you, you no get setup. hit on block and Gigi just goes away. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. it's block dodged it, but that means you're dead. Unfortunate. Nine one here. You don't spot dodge those teleports. Yeah. Really, like spot dodge works on the regular ones, kinda question mark. Sword but it's very early, just early I think. But yeah, it does. I mean, I think it loses to the empty one anyway. Ooh. Not again. Don't you get combos off the crouch and confirm drills? Out of the corner. Okay. All right, seeing some neutral. Oh, ah, this is the, oh, the yeah. reason why the spot dodge can be a bad idea. H yeah. teleport just getting maximum damage in and oh, another spot dodge nameless. And this is set point for Zeno. A possible set point at least. <laughs> if Saiji has another idea for this matchup, this is the moment. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame say This looks like a very hard matchup for Fairy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mostly because how Lucifer can just deal with Fairy shenanigans at yep. range, or just threaten with the with specials. Exactly. And also, it oh, is normal. Oh. oh, that should be it. Yeah. That it is it. Far life, far life. Catching the drill option there. Now it's gonna be a 10 1 Zeno taking yeah. it. Very convincingly. Mm. Well played, well played there from yeah. Seiji. It was a good set.
Yeah, and I do too. feel Lobsters actually gave some context. He played the first 50 to Zeno and, and you know, 50 it looks... 50 to 11. 50 to 11. Yeah. And got a lot of matchup knowledge probably to, mm. you know, put Seiji, one of the best parries here in Europe, on, yeah, well, on a very bad position. Mm -hmm. But I do believe in Seiji you'll find answers. You just yeah, exactly. I, I think he needs more games. He needs to... Uh... Have his options ready. There were a bunch of moments where he was like, okay, I'll just Twitch react with a spot dodge here, and he died immediately due to it. The stuff like that is just... Uh, Probably, it just needs time. Uh, the thing that I lo usually look into it like that is what happened there, but Seiji either wasn't really well adapted to how Zeno's Lucilius works and had too much on the mental stack and because of the, because of it just basically started twitch reacting to a lot of things mm -hmm. and I do feel that in Lucilius matchup you need to have like this mindset of if he's gonna go for that specific option at that specific range I need to have like a specific answer range to yeah that. he because then you need to determine if he's doing things reactively or preemptively. Mm -hmm. Everything that Zeno did was mostly preemptively. Yep. And Xeji exactly. was... And usually just to catch those zoning tools from that range. Mm -hmm. So if Xeji recognized it a bit earlier and had the answers, it would be way more consistent, I feel. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And even so, the games were quite close, especially like the, the second half. <laughs> Uh, so it was not like he was completely at a loss, but... Just yeah, it was not last to, till the end. Exactly. Well, yeah, with that, we're just gonna be done with our second match in the Promenade Ballroom. Uh, the next ballroom is gonna be on Thursday. The sign-ups, I feel that there are still spots for the ballrooms there. Let me there check. Are. There are, in fact, still slots available, so if you do want to sign up for this event, uh... I'll put it in chat for the people who are new here, exclamation mark boring for what our events are about, and then you can find the sign-ups for that in the Discord. Yep, but yeah, mm -hmm. we're, we're done for tonight. <clears throat> of course, thank you, uh, Arai and Abby, for joining me tonight. Yes, thank you, thank you for having me here. Great commentary. Uh, just before we go, I just want to remind everyone that uh, we do have the Europe vs. East Coast event coming up this Saturday. It should be a wonderful time. And uh, our raid target for tonight actually is going to be one of the competitors on the East Coast side of things. We're going to be throwing it over to a uh, friend of the channel, Up. So, uh, of course, uh, wish them luck for this weekend. Uh, of course, uh, for the potential bodying that uh, Team Europe is going to give Team East Coast. But uh, we shall have to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. Um, nothing else I really need to say tonight. Of course, we'll be back here. Uh, 10 p.m. CET on Thursday for our next ballroom iteration, and after that, we'll see you guys on Saturday for the 5v5. But yeah, again, thank you very much for our commentators for holding it down tonight, and we shall see you on Thursday. It was a pleasure here. See you. Good. It was me here. Oh God! What do you want to say? <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> that was a pleasure, a pleasurable uh, experience. Very mm -hmm. nice. Thank you for uh, having me on comms today. Likewise, it was me here at Riot, joined by Abby and Cake in the production lines. Oh yeah, have a wonderful rest of your evening everyone, and take care. Bye-bye.